Hi everyone, I'm Savannah and today I am very excited because we have Hannah with us. She is a premier local florist in Seattle um, at Terra Bella. If you ever get to Seattle, go visit her. I personally am selfishly excited today because I am not known for being the best with houseplants and I cannot wait to learn about your tips and tricks on how to really care for your houseplants. Yeah, and it's such a common uh, thing that I hear from folks coming into our shop here mm -hmm. is that they have brought plants home and they just never seem to have any luck with them and they just don't understand what they're doing wrong. So what I would love to share today is just kind of an overview on three basic kinds of house plants that mm -hmm. are pretty common for people to have and some general pointers for things to do or not to do to keep them alive as long as you can and enjoy them in your home because they're I'm such taking, a nice addition. I'm going to be taking notes because yeah. I am known for my black thumb so I cannot wait to learn more <laughs> about yeah. what these beautiful plants are and kind of the benefits Absolutely. of them as well. Yeah, exactly. So let's start out with kind of one of the most popular types of plants that I see people bringing home right now are succulents. They've been a huge deal lately. Cacti also kind of fall into this category. So we have this cute little planter here um, with a little variety of succulents in there. Um, I like to keep in mind where plants grow in nature mm -hmm. as a way to help me remember how best to care for them. So succulents are desert plants. They store a lot of water in their leaves, so they don't need to be watered very often. Mm -hmm. I would let them completely dry out in between waterings, and you never want to completely soak their soil. Mm. Um, they also don't really like too much, especially in our homes, because it's not as hot as a desert, so water that gets on their little leaves isn't going to evaporate as quickly. Mm -hmm. I would avoid misting them, anything like that. I would try to water directly into the soil. So something like this little uh, watering can here that has this gooseneck is going to be really helpful because it's just a little bit more accurate when you're watering. Cool. So if you want to, oh, I'm scared. You can totally do it. <laughs> okay. Just so a little bit of water, just right into their soil. Like that's great. I would just do a little bit around each of them. Really? Yeah. And I mean, everyone, everybody's home is going to be different. So you're going to want to make sure that you let them get used to your home and just keep an eye on them as they live in your home and just keep checking in on them. And you can put your finger in the soil and feel mm -hmm. if it's wet or dry. So now you'll feel it's a little damp. You want to wait until it's totally... <laughs> no, but that's good. You, that's a good amount of damp. So you want to wait until it's totally pebble powdery dry before you give them more water is what I would generally Got say. Got it. Um, so that's a succulent. They're pretty easy, low maintenance. Um, as opposed to something like a fern, this is a little maiden hair fern. It's so pretty. They're beautiful and they're delicate. <laughs> They do need a little bit more attention than something like a succulent will. You don't want to let their soil dry out ever, I would say. Ferns mm -hmm. grow on the forest floor. They're going to want something that's a little bit lower indirect light to medium indirect light. And they like humidity. So something like a little mister like this is really great. This one has like a nice fine mist. You can mist their leaves, which increases the humidity around them and keeps them really happy. Oh, you so could also so place you're actually a little dish just, of water. You're misting the leaves, not the yeah. soil. Yes, so the oh. mist is for the leaves and then you just water directly into the soil and uh, just enough to keep it damp like every few days with them. They're also really happy somewhere like a bathroom where the humidity is naturally higher as long as they have sufficient light. And then you're bringing some prettiness into the bathroom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which everybody, you know, then when you're taking a bath, it's like a little oasis yeah, and it's super nice. Love that. And um, then this is gorgeous. Yeah, so this is a peace lily or a spathophyllum, which is a pretty common type of a tropical house plant. Tropicals are going to be more of a medium to bright indirect sunlight in general. Um, and then you can let kind of the top inch or so of soil dry out on your tropicals in between waterings. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I wouldn't let them dry out completely like you would a succulent. So something like this is going to be kind of a more medium care sort of a situation. And then I also wanted to show you with this, uh, we have a damaged leaf here. So anytime that you have a house plant that has mm -hmm. a damaged leaf, you're going to want to remove it because if the plant has a damaged leaf, it's going to be putting its energy towards that leaf that it could be spending elsewhere growing bigger, oh. making blooms, all of that. So with just a pair of snips, you can just go in as low as you can on the leaf and just snip it off because it's not helping the plant anymore. And then I would just compost that. Oh, cool. Yeah. And so then you're also doing good things for the environment with composting. Yes. <laughs> composting is great. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. So I think in general, for someone like me who's scared about houseplants, what's really the benefit of having houseplants? So, I mean, A, they filter your air. They increase the level of oxygen in your home, which is great. It helps things feel a little bit fresher. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, I just love having them in my home. It makes everything feel more cozy. You're bringing the outdoors inside in a little way. And it's also really nice to have something that you can care for 
and uh, watch grow and flourish in your home. It's really satisfying. Love this. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Hannah. I feel like I learned so much in such a quick amount of time. Hopefully you guys did too. Let us know what your favorite house plants are. Share this with your friends if yeah. they're like me and they need a little bit of house and a little, a little bit of love with their house plants. <laughs> and I'm actually excited to go get one. Yeah. Um, let us know if you guys ever, like what you're loving, what you end up trying, and we'll see you again next time.